you wanna know the fastest way to start getting to yes when you're quoting retail jobs? And hey, the same thing goes for the storm damage guys who are working the hurricanes and they're leaving quotes with people. And I've been getting a lot of emails and comments on the channel, people saying, Adam, you know, I quoted X number of roofs, I quoted 20 roofs, I haven't heard back. I've been quoting roofs, I haven't closed the sale. And this is often with people who are less familiar with retail. And many of the storm restoration guys out there, they're working because they have been in business for so long, they get retail leads. And for you retail companies or salespeople that are only doing retail, I wanna teach you the fastest way to get to yes on your retail quotes. And before we jump in, I wanna welcome you. My name is Adam Benzman, the Roof Strategist. Welcome to the podcast and the YouTube channel. Everything I do here is designed to give you a simple and actionable personal sales strategy to smash your income goal. And we're all just one strategy away from the next breakthrough. And sometimes this part that I'll be teaching you is how this quote's delivered and and when it's delivered can make or break your success. And sometimes it's just this one little thing that we tweak and then boom, it increases our results. And then we ask ourselves, what's the one strategy I need? So if you're someone or you have a team and you've been struggling with quotes and getting calls and inking deals after you give the quote, this video is gonna help show you the path, fastest path forward. So if you haven't already done it, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a thing. And now let's jump in to today's video the number one fastest way to get a yes on your retail quotes. First, you gotta stop doing this. I hear this a lot, especially from new salespeople. So really common in, when working hurricanes. Homeowners want quotes, so you're either knocking the door, you get a lead that comes in the office. It doesn't matter if it's hurricane, by the way, or pure retail. People will show up, talk to the homeowner, and then do what? Go prepare the quote. This is the number one thing that you need to stop. You cannot show up and then go prepare the quote. The fastest way to getting to yes is to do this, is to get that quote ready on the first visit. And I know what you're thinking. Adam, how do I do this? How do I get this quote in on the first visit? I'm gonna be teaching you that in just a moment, but I want you to get into the mind of your customer. I use the analogy of a barber, for example. Imagine you call a barber shop. This is how the experience is for many roofing companies. Call the barber shop. You say, hey, I'd like to cut, get a haircut. And if the barber shop does this, says, you know what? I'll have one of our stylists or barbers give you a call back to book an appointment within the day. Click. This is how many roofing companies start the experience. So first things, we need to get that appointment booked. I've done videos on this, in a nutshell it's this. If you can't get the exact time, book a three hour window. What day of the week? Nine to noon, noon to, noon to three, or three to six. And then you say, great, we're gonna get it scheduled. Uh, within the day, you'll get a confirmation call with the exact time, that way you can farm out the lead and call the reschedule if you need to. But at least it's converting the appointments. about the customer's time. Because so what we wanna do is reduce the interactions that they have, reduce the timelines, that's all drop off, right? So many companies still operate that way. Surprisingly, if you're a retail company, chances are you don't, but if you are, you gotta make that switch right now, all right? Because what you don't wanna be doing is calling people back. Anytime you leave or break contact, there is drop off. So that's step one. Step two, they call, I want an estimate. So what does the homeowner think? They're gonna get an estimate. Then you show up at the house, you do your inspection, you take your measurements, you scope everything out, and then you leave. Now what do you need to do? You need to get back to the house. And unfortunately, this is where many people go wrong is because they don't get back in the house. So what do you do? They email the quote. I'm gonna email you the quote. I was out already, I emailed it. I've had companies do this for me. I just need some carpet tile work done, got some quotes. I couldn't believe it. It's like, this is how, you, you know what I'm doing as a consumer? I don't know what all those line items mean. I am going on what? Price, that's it. Without context to review this quote, it means nothing. I'm expecting it, so now I called up, now you call me back, now we have the appointment, now you show up, now you gotta come back again or I have to wait. We need instant gratification. You must have the quote ready on the first visit. If someone wants a quote, you must be prepared to do it, which begs the question, how? Here's some, some, some ways to do it. Get an aerial measurement in advance, all right? There's plenty of tools out there to do this. Even if it's rough, you can sharpen the pencil and fine tune your numbers. If you're new, you can get as close as you can and have your sales manager owner on speed dial. If you're an owner or manager, be there for your team to help. But 
if you especially are a retail driven company and these are inbound leads, every single phone call is wicked expensive. What's a few, few dollars to get that aerial in advance to win the customer? If it will increase your close rate even 5%, which my guess, no joke, you'll probably double your close rate by preparing your quotes in advance. Getting these aerials in advance is gonna help because then you can prepare it. Number two is you can do it on site. The way I operated, I had a personal office set up in the back of my truck. I had an F-150, I found a, like a TV lunch tray that I'd set up, I'd set my laptop up, I had a printer next to me, and I tethered my phone, or I had a Wi-Fi hotspot. I could do everything and I could say, hey, do you mind giving me 20 minutes, I'll just go get this prepared. So that's an option as well, if you can't do it. If you wanna use other tools and technology to measure on site while you're there, do it on site. Number three, formulas. So many companies will put together a spreadsheet that's a formula of your starting price per square and then add, for example, steep, two-story, redeck, whatever the case may be, different tiers. So in one column, price per square for dimensional shingle, for class four shingle, for, um, if you're doing any specialty product, standing seam, or you're doing stone-coated steel, and then you could say add X dollars per square for for this pitch or for this pitch for steep or two or extra layers. So it's simply a formula. They just enter in how many are each and boom, it spits it out on site. And then the other one is technology. Tools like Acculinks or SumoQuote that allow you to prepare these things either on the fly or in advance. But when you do this in advance, now that you can start doing what everybody wants, the one call close, because it gives you the opportunity to then present. Like I mentioned, if I just shot you a quote for a roof, what are you going to judge it by if you're looking at three others? Because everyone's three quotes, right? So what you will do is what everybody does. They're going to look and say, dollar value, dollar value, dollar value. Top one goes. They're not going to pick the top one because no one's there to explain and showcase the value. A homeowner isn't the wiser to see remove and replace roof 30 square X dollars versus your detailed itemized estimate of ice and water, edge installation, starter course, how the valleys will be installed. All that stuff must be itemized. Otherwise, you and I both know it's not an apples to apples estimate. What is the accountability for this one? Are they reusing the step flashing? Are they reusing the chimney flashing? Are they installing a cricket on the chimney? when there wasn't one, there's so many nuances. You cannot just fire it off and then expect to go through it. And same thing, you can't just email it and then say, let's call to review. You do it while you are with the customer. That way, they don't look at it and say, you know what, we're going another direction. Then you don't even get the opportunity to get on the phone to go through it because they made a snap judgment, a snap decision. You're out, you wasted all the time and energy. So when you have it done on the first visit, you then present and walk through it with them. I teach my car park closing formula, all right? It is the backbone of my program, the complete closing strategy. There's a link in the video description and podcast description if you're interested. And I have it broken out for both storm and retail separately to go through the presentation, to overcome the biggest objection, which is price out of the gate by educating the homeowner. They can choose everyone and not all estimates are apples to apples, all right? So then we go through. Car Park, by the way, I'm gonna to link to this video for the Car Park Closing Strategy so you get an introduction to what these all mean. Connect, assess, report, present, ask for the business, referrals, and then kickstart a five-star worthy relationship. It's how to run an appointment for you, for your team, from the minute they say hello, to building the rapport, to getting on the roof, to literally getting invited to the kitchen table, overcoming the biggest objections before you even present, presenting everything, then going through the quote only after you present the value, bring in how it works and answering all their questions. Then we get into price and options. Then we ask for the business. We ask for referrals. We kickstart that relationship. But if you're not presenting the quote, it is falling on deaf ears, right? And it's the same thing the way we shop for commodity items. I'm looking for a new car for my wife. What do I look for? Year, make, model, price, period. That's it, Brr, trimming the fat. And I'm looking because it's a commodity game. But roofing really isn't. We need to showcase the value. Why should someone choose your company? What makes you different? And I teach that in the P, the present part. All the key elements to build your value so people understand what it is they're buying. And again, there's incentives, which is a separate topic. 
getting people to take action today, right? And I'll touch on those, we'll do a future video as well. But things like a financial incentive to sign on the spot, could it be a financing offer, a free upgrade, warranties, anything along those lines to get them to take action today. Now, worst case scenario, even if you don't win the deal, because people have been asking, Adam, do more videos on um, retail objections. And one of those is, I wanna wait for other quotes. Well, if you're not there to review them, I always preferred to be last if it was a retail deal because I could pull out my estimate and theirs and go line by line through the whole piece. So if you can't close it on the spot, which I also teach, by the way, in this program, how to get that follow-up set before you leave. Not all follow-up, not let me know. Before I, if I don't get to yes, by the way, in this quote, I have an exact set date and time to come back to that house. If they won't let me, then I do a phone call. But I wanna get back and review the estimates because I can make mine shine above the other one when I know that people aren't putting in the attention to detail for the most part that we do and that you will. So when you do this and you follow this system of quoting on the spot or getting it prepared in advance, giving them a reason to take action today, presenting the quote with the right value, following the car park closing formula, which again is the backbone of my complete closing strategy for both storm and retail, separate sections for each, then you will increase your close rate. Because what happens is this, if you don't do it this way, when you leave the house, someone else showed up, if they did this, who's gonna have a better chance? Even if their number was close to yours, even if it was a little bit more, the guy who walked through it or the gal who walked through the quote, every time we increase the amount of steps that it will take for your customer, we cause more of a headache, we cause more frustration, we give them more time to think things through in a bad way, to overanalyze. We give other competitors time to slink in the door. We need to move to the one call close, not out of being pushy. And it doesn't matter if you don't close it. What we need to do is the one call present. I got the lead, I'm there, quotes prepared, and I'm just gonna back up just so you can, rem so you can see as a, as, as a synopsis. Aerials in advance, do it on site, create your own formulas, work with your team for that on a spreadsheet, and then use technology, Sumo Code, AccuLinks, whatever technology you want to be able to put these presentations together. By the way, I am uh, releasing in the closing strategy some, some presentations that you can kind of plug in your information, those will be coming soon, and they'll work on all the different technology platforms if you want to do your own. These are, there are great solutions out there. I'm not saying not to use them. In fact, I think they're excellent. But for the rudimentary approach, you can even go as simple as a three ring binder. Putting it in there and then having the quote at the last page will work. It doesn't matter, low tech, high tech, the matter is the right information in the right order. So by following this, by stopping that mistake and getting your quotes done on the spot, on the first visit, you will increase your close rate on those quotes when you present them the right way. More on this coming soon, and do check out the Battle Pack. It is now available with a full retail version to help you generate leads, and the complete closing strategy is also available, full retail version along with Storm. So both programs have both covered to help you have a well-diversified source of business to generate sales in a Storm environment or a retail environment. Now, if you want more videos, Click here to get a free copy of my Pitch Like a Pro Roofing Sales Training Video Library. Every video I've ever done organized by category, updated bi-weekly to help you reference pitching, closing, canvassing, objections, industry news, whatever it is, goals, motivation, by order, super easy. Get here, free copy, Pitch Like a Pro. Or jump into this video and I'll see you on the next one. See you soon.